Hello lovely, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Please don't forget to subscribe if you do like this video and maybe follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more fashion lifestyle bits if you like what I'm wearing, of course, no pressure. As you can see by the title, I'm gonna be filming an Outfits of the Week video, which I'm really excited about. I've just planned all of my outfits Monday through to Sunday, which I'm really excited about. I used to film this style video all the time when I first started on YouTube, and I don't know why I ever stopped, because I love watching them. 90% of these outfits, I'm pretty sure you could recreate from stuff that you already have in your own wardrobe, but if you do like something that I'm wearing, they will all be linked in the description in the order that I am wearing them. So if you do like anything, it will be linked for you to go shop. Without further ado, let's get into Monday's outfit. This is Monday's outfit. It's really cute, it's really simple, it's really easy, and I love it. It's so comfy. On Mondays, I usually get a lot of admin work done, some editing work done. I spend the majority of my day in a coffee shop just sitting working, so I like to be comfy while I do that. So this cable knit jumper is from Ralph Lauren. Um, I've got a little necklace on from Ana Luisa. All of my earrings are also from Ana Luisa. And then the dress that I have underneath it is just a dress from Pull&Bear. It's just a plain black dress. I'll show you. It's got a little V-neck from Pull&Bear. It's got a little frill down it. It's a really nice length, but obviously it's getting a lot colder now. Um, and I don't really feel comfortable just wearing a dress because I know that I would freeze um so I've just popped this one on with it and then I also have these boots on from Zara which I absolutely love like honestly my favorite pair of boots I wear them so often the heel is really really short so they're so comfortable and really easy to walk in I think you could really easily fold the jumper under and like tuck it in or even add a belt or something like that if you wanted to have a more like shaped outfit but for me, I just like having it loose and over the top of it. I think it looks really cute like that. So that is Monday's outfit. I really like it. I think it's so simple and so easy to wear. And I'm sure you guys have a little black dress and a jumper to throw over top in your wardrobe as well. So this is Tuesday's outfit, which I absolutely love. So this is one of my favourite jumpers ever. I got it from Zara last year. I don't think they're doing this exact style this year, but I know they're doing something very similar. I think it's just got a bit of a higher neck, which is also very cute. I popped on my Ana Luisa necklace with this, and I've also popped on a skirt that I got from Mango not too long ago. I really like this. It's really, really high-waisted, which is nice. I think it's easy to wear skirts like this in the winter by just popping on a jumper with them. You could even pop a bodysuit underneath this or even like a thermal top to keep yourself a little bit warmer but I just think this looks really cute I love this outfit so much it's so pretty and then I popped on some little tights with it and then I was deciding between converse or biker boots but I think either would look really nice I probably also put on a leather jacket with this as well um just to like finish it off and obviously add an extra layer of warmth and if it was getting really cold I'd obviously put a full-on coat with this but I think as of right now I could get away with a leather jacket but I just love this outfit I think it's so easy to wear again it's so comfortable this skirt is so stretchy like like so so stretchy um and just so easy to wear and i love it it's a really easy <laughs> comfortable outfit and i can't wait to wear this so here is wednesday's outfit this is one of my all-time favorite outfits i have repeated this outfit so many times i can't even count i've worn this outfit a billion times and it never gets old and it always looks good i think it's very timeless so let me run you through it i'm gonna be honest with you this outfit without the coat without the scarf is kind of boring and i admit to that it's true it is kind of boring so i've decided to spice it up with a whole load of jewelry <laughs> so all of my jewelry that i'm wearing right now is from Ana luisa apart from my gold diamond tennis bracelet that lou got me for one of our anniversaries i love this bracelet so much it's so cute so other than jewellery, let me show you the bones of the outfit. This bodysuit is from Zara. It's just one of their like kind of round neck bodysuits. Really simple. It's a little bit side booby. So if you don't like that, then I'd probably suggest getting a different one because all of my Zara bodysuits are kind of side booby. I mean, it's not too bad, but I feel like you could very easily get like, you know what I mean? You pull it down a little bit, the side boob. So I would say just be aware of that. And then these jeans are my Mango Mom jeans that I wear all the time. I love these jeans so much. They're just perfect. They're the perfect mom jean. You will never convince me that another pair of mom jeans is better than these ones. These jeans are just so perfect. These are in the white shade. They're kind of like a creamy white. They're not like a bright white, I guess you would say. And then for shoes, I've put on these gorgeous ones that I got from June. Um, I got these a while ago. They're really gorgeous. Obviously, they're very similar to the Chanel ones. They're a slingback style. They are nude with a black cap toe. They're gorgeous. They're so similar to the Chanel ones, but obviously a fraction of the price. So that is it for the bones of this outfit. Very simple. I feel like you could go in a lot of different directions with this. This is a really good 
base for an outfit to start at. You could throw on a leather blazer with this, you could throw on a coat with this. I'm going to show you a few different options. So one of the routes I would go down is with a leather blazer. This one is from River Island. I really like it. Quality is really nice and it wasn't too expensive either. I think it looks really cute. You can wear this blazer with so many different things. I would probably change the shoes to either all black shoes or all white shoes or even my um, Vager trainers that are like white and black but it still works, it still works. I think if you had like nude accessories, like a nude handbag, a nude belt, you could really tie this all in together with the nude. But I don't have that right now. <laughs> so I'm just showing you one of the jacket options. And I love this blazer. I think it's really in right now, really trendy. You can wear this with dresses, you can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with jeans. Really versatile and really easy to style in my opinion. And then the way that I usually style it is with a nude coat. This is my coat that I got from Hobbs. It's beautiful, it's absolutely perfect. Gorgeous quality. I would usually put my Burberry scarf with this, but I would put any kind of camely brown tone scarf with it. I haven't shown you guys this outfit with my Burberry scarf because I feel like if I show it you, just with the coat, with the jeans, without any accessories, it's so much easier for you to envision wearing it with things that you have in your wardrobe and wearing it with your accessories, which is why I haven't been showing you guys any handbags either in this video. I will, however, leave a selection of handbags in the description that are like my most worn handbags as well as a link to my Burberry scarf because you guys know I do wear all the time but when you guys watch this video I want you to feel like you could recreate these outfits really easily and I want to show you just like basics I think you'll already have and then you can add your own accessories on top of it so that is this outfit I love it so easy to wear so versatile so easy for so many different occasions you could put a pair of like high heels on you could put a pair I have a black pair of Jimmy Choo's that I could stick on with this and make it like a going out outfit it's just so versatile and so simple you could put it on with trainers and make it a lot more casual chef's kiss it's perfect so here is Thursday's outfit. I love this outfit so much. Um, first off, let's start with jewellery. So I've got these two necklaces on from Anne Luisa. My two bracelets here are also from Anne Luisa. My earrings are from Anne Luisa. And then obviously I've got my Apple Watch on with my strap that I actually got from Amazon. <laughs> I know, really good find. This jumper, I'm not 100% sure where it's from because it's loose. It's just this really beautiful, kind of like almost greeny brown shade. It's really fluffy, really warm. And it's just got little sleeves. And then this dress I actually got last year. I haven't worn it a whole load, but I really like it. I think it's really cute. I love the pinafore style of it. I think it's really nice. I also think it's quite flattering as well. I think it makes your waist look quite small and kind of makes, it just makes your shape look nice. I'm a fan of it. I think it's really cute. And then I've popped on my same Zara boots that I wear all the time because they're just perfect for like 90% of outfits and they're so comfy as well. So that is it for Thursday's outfit. I really, really like it. I think this is one of my favorite outfits from the whole week. I'm so excited to wear it. So here is Friday's outfit. I love this outfit so much. I have worn this outfit so many times since I got this skirt. It's one of my absolute favorite pieces in my wardrobe. I think it's just so pretty. It's so perfect for this season. Sparkle season, Christmas is coming, New Year's is coming. Everyone has birthdays all the time. This skirt is just the most beautiful, beautiful skirt I've ever owned. I love it. So let's start out with jewellery. So first off, I've got all my same Anne Luisa earrings in. I've popped on this beautiful green pendant necklace that I got from there, along with a little chain. I've also worn my Michael Kors watch because obviously the greens tie in together, which I think looks really nice. It's those little touches that make an outfit really special and make it look really put together. I've also popped on this beautiful gold diamond tennis bracelet that Lou got me for one of our anniversaries. I love it so much. And then my other little bracelets are from Anne Louisa too. This top, I'm not 100% sure where it's actually from. It's Lou's. <laughs> I still wear clothes all the time, but it's just a little basic um, short sleeve, kind of thin knit jumper top. This skirt is from River Island. Oh my God, look at it. Isn't it just beautiful? Like, tell me that isn't stunning. It's got these beautiful little diamonds um, around the bow. It's just so gorgeous. I mean, if you're one of those people that like sparkles, but you don't want to wear a sequin dress or you don't want to wear something really glittery, I think this could be perfect for you. It looks really classy. It looks really beautiful with just a hint of sparkle, which I just think is to die for i love it and then these shoes are very very similar to the ones that i have from zara actually um they're very similar but they're from river island and the ones that i have from zara are actually out of stock so if you like those i'd say to get these they're a little bit higher of a heel than the zara ones with a little bit of a platform um but they're still really comfy and really easy to walk in and like i said the ones from zara are sold out and i get questions about them all the time so hopefully you guys like these ones um i'll link them in the description this is friday's out Outfit. I love this outfit so much. Perfect for going out for drinks with your friends or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. I love it. So cute, so pretty, 
and this skirt is perfect for the the sparkle season it's perfect for christmas and it'll never go out of style will it because it's black and it's simple so i'll still be wearing this when i'm 40. first off sorry for the horrible lighting it's literally like about to storm outside right now it looks so like miserable and gray um so it's a little bit dark in here and i've got a lot of artificial light going on just there um but this is saturday's outfit which i love i love this out i love all of these outfits i'm so excited to wear all of these outfits so first off i've got my Anne luisa jewelry on um i've decided to keep my wrists plain and my hands plain because i think this looks nice it's really neutered simple outfit i think the um neckline kind of does a lot of the talking and i think it's nice to kind of emphasize that with a pretty necklace this top i can't actually remember for the life of me where it is from i've cut the tags out on the back of it so they must have been itching me um but it's just this really beautiful kind of like cape neck top it folds over can you see this little flap detail it's like a ribbed material it's really thick really warm and then i've tucked that into a pair of mom jeans from mango you guys know that they are my favorite mom jeans they're just the best the best mom jeans ever i think this would also look really nice with a pair of leather mom jeans that i've seen on asos so i'll link those in the description as well because i'm thinking about getting them this outfit is obviously so easy to wear but I think you could easily make this a day to night outfit by putting on a pair of like trainers with it and then swapping out for heels. I've just popped on my Dior slingbacks because you guys know how much I love these. They're like one of my favourite pairs of shoes um and i love i love dior <laughs> so yeah that is saturday's outfit what do you guys think i love the style of the mom jeans with the really classy shoes i think it's just a really cute contrast um and i just think this outfit is really really cute be sure to let me know in the comments which outfit is your favorite out of all of these because i'm really struggling to pick so this is sunday's outfit I love all of the pieces that I'm wearing so much and I wear them so often. These are probably some of the most worn pieces in my wardrobe because I go to the gym every day and when I work from home or if I'm walking the dogs, I just want to be in something comfortable, something easy to wear, something easy to throw on, um, just something stretchy and nice and warm and cosy. So to start with, I've got this sweater on from River Island actually, which I absolutely love. I love the green colour, obviously we all know how in green is right now. And I just think it's just the perfect sweater. It's a little bit oversized, it's really comfy. I can tuck my hands in if I'm a little bit cold. It's just really, really nice. I don't even know what it says. West Virginia, um, 1978 is what it says. And then I've also put on my Lululemon leggings, which I wear all the time. They are so high-waisted. These are the most high-waisted leggings I've ever worn. They literally come up so high. Um, I love them. They are really, really stretchy. They're really comfortable. And they're like buttery soft. The fabric of these is just so nice. So easy to wear. And then I just popped on my Nike trainers, which I wear every single day to the gym. They're just the perfect trainer. They're just plain black and white. Really simple. They're really nice for walking in. Really nice for running in. They're quite supportive. And because obviously they are so neutral, they just tend to go with literally everything. And I mean, who doesn't like wearing a comfy outfit on a Sunday? Day. what I usually go out to on Sunday is just go for a roast dinner I can hide my food baby in this and I also just walk the dogs usually so I like to be comfy on my Sundays as for coats I have two different options they're both from super dry actually which is my favorite place to get like winter coats puffer coats because they're just such good quality um, when you buy a super dry coat it kind of feels like it would last you 20 years you'd never have to really replace it you just have to get it dry cleaned in between if it gets muddy this one definitely needs a dry clean so this is the first coat option it's just a really nice short gray coat I really like this it's just a gray color it's got a really nice furry hood which is the cutest thing ever and it's really warm and really cozy i just love this coat i think it's absolutely adorable the next coat option is this one again from super dry but this one is actually a long line coat i think this is called their duvet coat actually um i've had this for a while i think i got it last winter it's got some massive pockets on the side it's got one pocket there one zip pocket there and then another pocket behind it so it's really handy for like dog walking and stuff like that or if you just have loads of things in your pockets. This is the type of coat that you wouldn't really wear a handbag with, so I think it's really useful to have all of the pockets. It also has a hood, and it is waterproof as well, and it's so thick. I wish you guys could feel this. Like, the material is so thick, so warm. This is just the perfect warm winter coat, perfect for dog walking, and perfect for those really, really cold days that we tend to get in the UK. So that is it for this week's video. I really hope you guys have liked it. I hope you guys like the outfits. Don't forget to check out the description box for any of the links if you liked something and you wanted to get it. And please leave me any recommendations in the comments of things that you'd like to see next. And also let me know what your favorite outfit was. If you've made it this far, then you definitely enjoyed the video. So please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And also my TikTok and Instagram are on screen right now. So if you could follow me over there, it would mean a whole lot to me. I'm trying to get to 30,000 followers on Instagram before 2022. I'd really appreciate it. 
thank you so much for watching have a lovely sunday and have a lovely rest of your week and i will see you soon with a new video bye